Yakuza 0 is a game filled to the brim with wacky side quests and minor stories, as well as a serious plot about a murder and a wild plan to take over the Yakuza. One of the strongest things about the game that keeps it tied together is its core themes and the different ideas of what it means to be a Yakuza, and the characters that show this the best are the three Dojima lieutenants. Kaz is a genuine Yakuza, fully committed to the life of fighting. He's Dojima's muscle, and is purely the brawler side of the Yakuza. And many people, even Kiryu, by the end of the story, respect Kaz for his will. Kaz's tattoo shows Enma, the judge of those in hell. Kaz refuses to give in no matter what. You fight him the most out of any of the bosses in the game, at a total of four times. Kaz is the wall that makes sure that you stay in hell, and to make sure that you are ready for the next obstacle. Eventually, Kaz comes to respect Kiryu and acknowledge him as a real Yakuza. You pass the test given to you by the man who refuses to give up. Kaz is the genuine fighting spirit of the Yakuza. Awano is a man of manipulation and emotional exploitation. He's the face and charisma of the Yakuza. He bluffs his way through just about every situation, trying his best to take the easy way out. After years of getting bloodied and beaten, he only wants to have an easy life. Ono's tattoo is Momotori, an old Japanese legend about a hero born from a peach who fought a band of demons. And Awano fights the man with the demon tattoo, Majima. After the fight with Awano, Majima realizes that Awano could have climbed to the top with his power and strength. But Awano always felt he could never be as good as people like Kazuma. And due to his somewhat lazy nature and lack of discipline, he gave up and just decided to rest on his place in the ladder. Awano is the social ability in front of the Yakuza, as well as when a Yakuza seeks only the high life. A man who wants nothing more than to climb the ladder, not through fame or direct action, but through clever and cunning means. Shibisue is the lieutenant that gets the least amount of screen time, but in that time he builds a sense of strength and threat. Unlike the others, he pulls no punches. He does his best to try and kill Kiryu. He is cold-blooded and ruthless. He is the only one to kill important characters. This put him in the position of captain, yet he can't feel that he is truly on top until they crush everything Kazuma tried to build and everyone associated with him. And this is his downfall. He could have easily won, but he had to crush Kiryu himself. In that pride, he gets defeated by Kiryu. But before Kiryu kills him and gives him a sense of closure in some way, Nishiki stops him and Shibasui is disgraced. He shows the pride and ambition of the Yakuza. He wants to be the dragon, yet he couldn't see past those in front of him. The core theme that connects these lieutenants is not being able to look past what's in front of them. They get so wound up by what's right there that they don't see the big picture and it becomes nothing, leaving them no room to become stronger and surpass those they fight. They don't look toward the future and have accepted their positions. This has caused them to stagnate and be complacent. That's why they can never be the strongest or climb to the top or be the dragon. To be the dragon you have to be willing to move forward no matter what and stay steadfast in your beliefs. They are the old guard past their prime, giving way to new blood. Ugh.